Hello, my young friends. I hope all of you are doing well and that you had a good week last week. I'm going to talk to you today about something special that I am planning to do. I'm going on an adventure in the wilderness. So I have to pack my book bag with all the things I need to take for my adventure. I have my hat, that's very important. Tennis shoes, an extra pair in case my pair I'm wearing gets wet, a snack, and I'll take a can of Pringles too. That's a good snack. I didn't say they would all be helped. A really good flashlight, some bug spray, my sunglasses, and a bottle of vitamin water. Okay, it looks like my book bag is ready to go, and I'm ready to go out on my adventure in the wilderness. You know, Jesus had an adventure in the wilderness too. We're in the season of Lent. That's a very special time in our church life. The season of Advent is also special because that's when we're preparing for the birth of Jesus. During Lent, Jesus, as an adult, spent 40 days in the wilderness. And you know, he didn't take anything with him. No food, no water, no sunglasses, no hat. He was there for 40 days. And the reason he was there is because he wanted to get to know his Father God better and spend time with him so that he could learn all of the things he needed to learn to be a good teacher, a good preacher, someone who could heal the sick, and someone who could love us all. Now, Jesus was not alone in the wilderness. There was someone else there with him. Satan. Satan goes by a lot of names. The devil, the evil one, lots of different names. We're just going to call him Satan. Satan was bad. Satan's a bad, 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 bad person. And Satan tempted Jesus. He promised him all kinds of great things. He made promises to Jesus trying to get Jesus to follow him instead of his father God. Well, Jesus was a very strong person. And because of the love that he had for his father, God, and the love that God had for him, he told the devil to get away. Go away. Leave me alone. You're not going to tempt me. And he continued to follow God. Well, that makes me think. Maybe I should change my idea of going out into the wilderness. Maybe I need to repack my book bag. Hmm, what can I take? Well, I can take a pencil and an ink pen. I can take a little journal so that I can write notes or maybe write prayers or even draw pictures. I can take a special printed book that has devotions in it for every day and Bible verses that I can read. And of course, the Bible, the most important book we need to take with us. I think that's going to be it except for my little cross. I've had this a very long time and it reminds me of the sacrifice that Jesus made in dying on the cross for us. So, let this be a time to have an adventure. Sometimes people give up things during Lent, like chocolate or Cheetos or soda. But sometimes people take on things during Lent. A lot of times, you can add more prayer to your day. You can do an extra devotion. Maybe you could draw a picture for someone in your family or your church family that's sick and you could send them that card or picture. Maybe you could call someone that you haven't talked to in a while, maybe an aunt, an uncle, or a cousin, just to say hello and tell them that you love them. So whatever you decide that your Lent adventure will be, I know it will be a blessing to God. Okay, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, 
thank you for your son Jesus who was a preacher, a teacher, a healer, and a strong, strong man. Thank you for this season of Lent as we prepare to celebrate your son. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week next week. Whether you're doing school virtually in your homes or whether you're going to the classroom, remember to do your best and ask your mom and dad for help when you need it. All right, see you soon.